Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. I'm Morgan. We are here at a butterfly pavilion, but it's so much more. There is a lot going on. We've seen some sea creatures. We've seen some invertebrates. Yeah, invertebrates. We've seen uh, some crabs and starfish and, um, and eating beady starfish too. And Dory, we found Dory again. We did find Dory. We also found Marlin. <laughs> yeah. The clownfish and the, and the anemones. And guys, the monarch butterflies are here all this month. So we're gonna be looking for those in addition to the regular butterflies. Come along with us, let's go explore, let's have some fun and see what this place has to offer. So look at this guys, up top, can you see the butterflies all flying around? You see if you wear bright colors, which look at Morgan's lounge fly and Liz's t-shirt there. I mean, definitely got some bright colors and maybe we'll get one on my hat again. That would be pretty cool, like at Epcot. So we got some food, we got the little butterfly on the food. Yeah, enjoying some of that. I think one of the things that kind of like took me back when we walked into this room is that the humidity in here, it's super humid. Now it's not hot and humid, but it is super humid. I mean, look at these, look at these plants that are growing in here. And they're just everywhere. Oh my goodness, everywhere. look at this thing, they just went past me. They almost landed on Liz, look at this guy. Oh my gosh, look at these, look at these. Look at him, look how big this guy is right here. Wow, that is beautiful. That was really neat. There was like three or four of them and they were just kind of like swarming at us. It was so cool. But yeah, so definitely I feel comfortable in my jacket, but it is very humid in here, which is, like I said, in Colorado, I was not expecting that. Look at this guy right here. Wow. He's just getting ready for supper. There's supper right there. Oh my goodness. He is so cool looking. And then you've got these two guys right here. Now, what I want to show you guys, this guy right there, look at him. He looks like the tree branch. This other little guy, he doesn't blend in quite as well, but the one on top, I mean, that looks like an extension of the tree branch. Wow, so neat. As we were walking through here, one of the things that they asked us to do is to make sure not to touch the butterflies. It's kind of like number one, but number two, be careful where you step. I've never heard that before. Uh, and I've only been to one other butterfly pavilion, which was at Epcot at Disney. Um, but here they're like, hey, watch where you step because they like to be on the ground. Look at this little guy on the ground. Look at him. And right over here, that's his buddy. Look at this guy. They're starting to kind of swarm Liz. Here they go. Look at them. Really is she bright enough? I don't think I am bright wow, enough. Wow, look at this beautiful one right here. here. That is so neat. Come check these guys out. Wow, they okay. are just all over the window. Right. But like he says 1009. There's like a little dot on his wings. It says 1009. Oh, they're tagged. Yeah. Interesting. And then here's the monarch right there. Like doing all that pre colors. Yeah, and 1101 just flew away. Look at the Monarch, guys. Isn't that neat? This is a Monarch, too. It's just not as brightly colored. That's they like the one that them. you just kind of... Right, that's like the... That's the I'm trying to be very careful not touch one, any of the foliage one. here. Yeah, but they released them on too. November the 1st into the exhibit. And it's like part of the Monarch conservation because they're trying to make sure that the monarchs stay and they have such a huge migratory path and so they are raising money to help the monarchs but these are so beautiful i mean just look at some of these guys with their colors i wish they would blend on me they're like we cannot wait to be out there yeah no, right. the wild blue yonder yeah, they're really they're active over there. They're very active over here, Morgan says. So we're just gonna go over here. I don't wanna scare you guys off or anything. Here, we'll just go, we'll go super slow. Oh my gosh, guys, one almost landed on the camera. <laughs> one almost landed on the camera. That would have been so cool. Oh, they are super active in here. I think we'll just hang out here real quick. Look at this. Look, look back here, back here. They're just fluttering around over there. That is so neat. And they're just right here, guys. I mean, it's like, obviously, you could reach out and touch one, but you're not going to. But they're just all around. This Look is out in front of you on the floor. 
is so pretty. There is one on the floor. You gotta be very careful around here. Walk very slow if you guys ever come here. Definitely a great experience. And experience wise, I am really enjoying this way more than the Epcot one. The Epcot one was super hot. It was. It was like an oven in there, but I still love it because awesome. it was it was pretty, but this is way more active in here. I'm trying to be a tree. You're a tree. Nobody's laying on me yet, but I'm so I'm so hoping. They are all flying like, right behind you. Don't swarming. move. Okay. Will I be that lucky? I don't know. Can we just keep this pose? No. <laughs> well, here's something pretty neat. What do butterflies do at night? Unlike us, butterflies do not sleep at night. Instead, they find a safe place to rest and conserve energy. This behavior is known as roosting, and it can be done by a single butterfly sheltering underneath a leaf or between blades of grass. This type of roosting is also done by butterflies during rainy weather. That's really neat because back when we were over on the other side in front of the windows, some of those butterflies were roosting in between the blades of the plant, of the leaves of the plant. That was pretty neat. I also like the, like the kind of the little water garden that they have here. It's so cool. And so when they say be careful when you're walking through, it's because this guy is just right in the middle of the path. And if you're not looking down and all around, number one, you might miss him, but number two, you might get hurt. I love all the foliage in here. It's just, it's like comfortable tropics. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna open up his wings. There he goes. So look at how, look at how iridescent he is when he opens his wings. Isn't that so pretty? Oh yeah, folks. Observe and enjoy. However, please do not disturb the wildlife. I love the fact that they have benches. Did you see the butterfly just land on my glasses? That was amazing. But you can just sit on these benches and be still and wait for the butterflies to come for you. That is so cool. I haven't had one land on me yet, so I don't know if it's maybe because I'm talking or I'm not being still enough. So I'm trying not to move my head right now. Is there one on my head? Does this mean I'm lucky? This is like some kind of like luck symbol, right? See, they said wear bright colors. Boom. Butterfly on my head. And he gone. <laughs> this is so much fun, guys. And Liz, how much was this? It's $13 per adult. And we're all considered adults. So it was like, with tax, it was $40.17. Well worth it, though. And you can take your time. I've got one on my head. <laughs> I love it. You can take your time. It's like right in the middle through. of your head. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> is a great it. area. It is worth the money just to have one have already landed on my hat. Yeah, that's awesome. And then I've had two on me. It's really super cool. They said bright colors and they kind of try to smell sweet. Well, you are sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that one's so beautiful. With the blue. I got one on my head again. You got one on your... Oh, you left again. Oh. It's all right, though. I don't think they like being on camera. I don't have one on my head, do I? No. <gasps> Morgan, don't move. Morgan has one on her head. Morgan has one on her head. Look at that. Oh, he gone. Have fun, Did though. you get it? <laughs> you have to go around where the benches are. Definitely go be still. This is kind of like a more open area. This is so fun. They're having so much fun. This is great. <laughs> Another favorite part about this whole experience is this room. It's not a very large room. It's big, but it's not extremely massive. They use every single bit of space in here that you can actually go and walk through and really kind of be a part of and not you're not missing out. So you can get on if you're on one side, you can then go on the other side. And there's all these trails, but Definitely where the benches are, that is a must go to area because that's where they're like super active and super like will land on you. Now Morgan's bag, Morgan do not move. Morgan's bag just got landed on. Look at this guy. Look at him. He loves the bright colors. That or he loves many. I don't know. I know. Or lounge fly. He's a lounge fly collector. It's like a butterfly tree. Look at him. There's so many on this one tree. It's amazing. 
and it is so cool, but these guys just love to hang on the very ends of the leaves. This is such a neat deal right here. So pretty. So guys, if you're in Colorado, if you're in Denver, the area, for sure the Denver Butterfly Pavilion is a must do. This has been so much fun. It's relaxing, it's calming. It's just, it's so nice. I, I'm loving this. If you've had a stressful day, it's probably the best 13 bucks that you can spend just to come and just take it all in. And there's so much more. There's like sea creatures and you know spiders and uh, praying mantises and uh, just all of that type of stuff that you guys can do here. But this, for sure, I think steals the show, the, butter, the Butterfly Pavilion. Hey guys, <laughs> look at that. I got two on my back list, says. I got one on my hoodie. And then it's gone. He's gone. So we're gonna go check out the, like the cocoons, like before, literally one just landed on the camera. Yeah, it's it is good luck, guys. You you have been you've been you have the good luck now. A butterfly oh, landed on the camera. That's you guys. Oh, there's one on Morgan. Yeah, there's one on Morgan's shoulder. Oh, he's oh, gone. He's gone now. So let's go check out baby butterflies. Is that what we call them? And cocoons? Yeah. Let's do that. Yep. I love how pretty all the plants are here too. They are just swarming good. I think. I wonder if this is like the primo time to come or something. This is really good. It's kind of getting dark. Life cycle of butterflies. So cool. Oh, look at that. It's got the monarch larva. Or the monarch larva. There. Oh, and we just saw one of these when they unfolded their wings. It was like like neon it was so cool but here they are here's the little babies so look at these guys up here the tiger glassy wing look at that it looks like carnival glass how does that even happen wow that is so cool <clears throat> it looks fake it looks like jewelry it does look like jewelry look at that it just i mean it literally looks like like you would buy it and it would be a charm. Like you can see down here though where they busted out. So yeah. like inside they look really super just like the carnival glass, the jewelry. Yeah. I wonder if they ever come back and they say, Where's our babies? And then they're like, Here's our babies. And they like look in like like fathers do at the hospital, you know. <laughs> in the nursery. Look at those big cocoons there. Yeah, those are Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's he's almost out. I mean, you see him? You see him right there. He's he's almost out. He's making his way. He's like, hello world. Hello world. <laughs> so this is the owl species right here. And they have like big eyes right there. And this is really cool because at dusk, come to find out, these are super, super active. So these are the ones that have been like landing on us and hanging out with us this evening because it's dusk. Now it's basically night. So we're gonna let these guys go to sleep and see what else is out here. And in true Disney fashion, Liz and Morgan are looking for stuff to get. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, one of the fun things is when you leave, right? You go back into a room and it's kind of like a, a room before you leave and it's got mirrors all over it. So that way you can check yourself to see if you got butterfly hitchhikers on you. Kind of like hitchhiking ghosts. <laughs> this is what Morgan just said. <laughs> Oh, it's a ladybug. Butterfly pavilion? But it's a little ladybug. Yeah. Why does everybody always assume I'm a girl? Oh, that's true. You're so cute. Oh, this is what me and my Here we go. Oh, Morgan. Very, you want a spider? Very appropriate. <laughs> Morgan does not like spiders. Wow. So this is pretty neat. Look how it catches all the light. All the flutter is what it's called. And their beauty can last forever. Oh my. Morgan, what'd you get? Earrings. Earrings? Yeah. And Look they're handmade this. in Colorado too. Oh wow. Yeah. 
She's long dangly earrings with three butterflies. They're super cute. Yeah. Really and how cute. much are they? They are $25. And they're handmade? And they're handmade in Colorado. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. I really like it. It's hypoallergenic sterling earring wire surgical steel posts. Nice. So it won't like turn your ears blue. Like yeah. if you wear it, like if you have <laughs> faulty metal. Will it turn your hair green? No. Uh -huh, my hair's already green. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna get this. And these guys are raised on butterfly farms. They live out their life and then they're put into these saddle boxes because so they get to live a happy butterfly life and then we get to keep them. They're so pretty. I love the purple one. Check out the purple one. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. This has been an amazing experience. Very stress-free, de-stressing even. Very nice, relaxing, just beautiful. Yeah, and Morgan got some really pretty earrings as we showed you in there. But I'm super excited that we get to take some of these butterflies home with us. They lived an amazing life cycle of like two to three weeks and their beauty continues to live on for they say probably about 40 years is what they're expected to last as long as you don't hang them in like sunlight or yeah. or humidity so i'm super excited about this and i will definitely be coming back here again they said sometimes like during the late mornings or early afternoon uh, some of the other butterflies are super active other than just the owls that we saw this evening yeah thanks for hanging out with us guys give this video a big thumbs up and share it ding that notification bell that way you're gonna know every time we go live or we put up a video and if you want to see our other denver adventure go check out our video of the aquarium downtown that was pretty amazing but until next time get out there have some fun and we'll see you on the flip side